Well, this was the first report that really wasn't better than expected over the last three or four months. Um, what, what I like is that finally Jay Powell is talking about ex-housing in his data, realizing how distorted the housing data is in that CPI, um, you know, so lagged, it's, you know, up 710, 710, when all the, you know, actual apartment, Zillow, apartment list, uh, case shower indexes are all going down. Actually, actually, I've constructed my own core and regular CPI using actual housing and rental prices. Uh, core inflation has actually been negative over the last four months. Um, if you actually put in what's happening in the market now, you know, uh, at, at least Jay Powell is now trying to talk about X rental because he knows how distorted that is. And by the way, as, as Stephanie mentioned, I mean, if 40%, 40% of the core is housing, housing shows 0.7%. When you do the math, three tenths of the percent of the increase of that four, what, four tenths increase uh, was due to the distorted housing data um, that you actually had. Uh, and and that's taking it out. If you actually put in a negative number, you bring it down to minus one tenth of a percent. But say, that I, I actually. Believe, I wonder you know. if you if you will admit that you've been too bullish. That you've been making the argument that inflation was basically going to fall off a cliff and come down in a near straight line. In fact, today's report proves the opposite of that and suggests, if anything, it's going to be a lot lumpier than some of the more well, optimistic people have expected or thought. Well, first, first, we have to realize, you know, it's interesting, the impatience, I think, people, you know, we, it's less than one year since the Fed started tightening. What, March? Um, first Fed funds increase. I, I remember when I went to school under Milton Friedman, he said, oh, it's 12 to 18 months before you can get any effect on prices. We've had a lot of effect on prices in the first 12 months. And uh, people are all upset because it's not down to 2% after, you know, tightening started 11 months ago. This is a long process, uh, to be sure. Um, and it's a process that the Fed has to let go through the market, uh, rather than stomping on it so much to get it down to two. And then, yes, I did and worry about the consequences. And yes, that January report on labor certainly surprised me. I'm not going to Deny that, and and really, what that what does that bring up? The, the no landing scenario. What, why is the stock market holding up? It's well, you guys have said it. It's because really, if we don't have a recession at, at the at the second half of this year, earnings are going to be set to accelerate uh, into 2024. Is that bad for the stock market? No. Remember the first on the first trading day, I was on Squawk Box. Uh, in the morning before the market opened, and they asked me, what do you think of the stock market going to do this year? I said 10 to 15 percent. They thought that was crazy high, and they said, yeah, and that's in the second half of the year, right? I said, I'm not sure it's in the second half of the year. Uh, when everyone thinks the first is bad and the second is good, I often think the opposite. Well, you know, we've had a 7.5 percent return to date, half the prediction that I made for the year but, already. Right, but um, you've also made the argument that in, in to fit into your thesis on how you know successful the market can do this year that the fed's going to cut rates right yeah well that, I, I mean got, well i got leesman sitting right to my right who i want to get involved in this conversation too who says that ship has sailed professor i, that, I, well, that, I don't think it's sailed. i don't i mean i am still worried about the cumulative effect of the tightening I, and by the way i i don't think the you know the fed well you know, fed, uh, you know steve said it's where this Fed is now. Actually, the chart he showed is where the Fed was in December. We will find out in five weeks where the Fed actually is now, uh, as far as that's concerned. Yeah, I, 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 I will admit, I, I was very worried that they were slowing things down too much. Uh, the January data uh, on payrolls was, like, unbelievably good. We know it's unsustainable. Uh, I still think we could get a, a reversal, maybe even negative data in February. We'll have to wait and see what that actually comes. But, yeah, I, I do see a stronger economy than I saw four weeks ago.